So it is about the diameter of vessels, okay, and the, the, the functions. So you have arteries, which normally uh, supply the blood, uh, sorry, the body cells with oxygen and um, nutrients, and you have the veins with are responsible of removal of waste products and you have capillaries we find uh, for example here uh, shoe and uh, yes it is the they are the smallest vessels as in french you have donc les artères les veines et les capillaires and i skip the, the i move to the next slide Yes, now we're dealing with the respiratory system. So the respiratory system is gen from the air into the body for the liver cells. Once the blood has, it picks up carbon dioxide, the lungs where his or sorry where this waste is expelled is uh, removed is a so for is a gas and it is carbon dioxide means the diffusion uh, like oxygen and uh, cells of the body and the cells is called emission of atmosphere okay as i have explained um, formally in the uh, blood circulation uh, diffusion of carbon dioxide from the blood in the lungs to atmospheric air so this exchange is called uh, one time when it is between cells and when it is um, between the lungs and atmosphere it is going to see together different parts of the skin okay nasal cavity and the mouth okay which is this the larynx okay and then you have the trachea and then at a lower uh, yes you have so the lungs and diaphragm okay from outside you have of course uh, the lower respiratory system is covered by uh, the ribs, the cut and sternum, the sternum, okay? Divided into the upper and lower respiratory tracts, okay? So you have mainly two parts or two. Uh, so the upper respiratory tract consists of the nose or nasal cavities, larynx, where the part of the respiratory system that can say we and the lungs. And the the, the uh, we call them upper and lower it is according to uh, the position here once again we have the upper uh, respiratory system or tract the upper respiratory tract so you have oil cavity with the tongue palate le palais okay mm, yes i want us to yes the palate and you have oropharynx and uh, nasopharynx okay and I will just say uh, something about epiglottis. Epiglottis, it is in French, l'epiglotte, and it is a piece of cartilaginous tissue, which is going to be, when we swallow, uh, it is going to be depressed, okay? And it is to cover uh, the windpipe, the, the trachea, okay? So that uh, food is not going to enter into the respiratory tract, okay? So it is going to uh, flow the esophagus, okay, from the pharynx to esophagus. And here you have a case exchange, okay. Here it is the internal. And we would finish with the respiratory system and we move directly from, uh, oh, sorry, uh, directly to reproductive system. So the rep reproductive system is une descendance, offspring, okay, ou mise bas. Okay, there are both translated in English by the word offspring. For reproduction to occur, you have to get, of course, uh, the association of the, the, the meeting of a uh, male and a female. So the male and the female of the sh same species, of course, must copulate. Okay, they have relation and mating. I'm going to define the words uh, to be transferred into the female. So you have to get that meeting, that mating, and yes. Mating coitus are terms that mean sexual intercourse. Donc c'est uh, la copulation, c'est le coit, et uh, that's it. C'est l'intromission. Them and sperm. Okay, it is the meeting of uh, precisely of the oven. It is also called conception. Okay, ou le sperm. Yeah, be careful. Là, c'est une nuance. So sperm and semen. In English, say le sperm en français, or ovulatory fluid that contains accessory sex glands like prostate, okay, similar gland, and so on. So the pregnancy or gestation is the condition to and is 
the time period during of suffering, la, la parturition, la mise par. Gestation is meant of the fetus in the uterus here. It is really a slight difference between the two uh, words, the two terms, pregnancy and parturition, uh, sorry, pregnancy and gestation. So gestation, uh, we use the word to talk about the period exactly. It is when we talk about the period. And pregnancy, it is the fact of having a, a fetus, okay? The fact of having a baby. So when we, we talk about the female, we, um, describe the female as pregnant means that she is having or it is having a fetus uh, so here is the reproductive system of a male okay uh, we don't focus on all i mean the glands of the, of the sexual glands you have seminal vesicle you have uh, prostate gland, uh, the, you have uh, testes, of course, testes, say the testicle, you have penis, penis, okay, you have to give this, okay, and you have the parts of sperm, parts of sperm, you have the head, la pièce intermédiaire, and you have the tail, le flagel, okay, and so just to, to give this, for here it is the uh, final portion of the digestive system. So we have oh, just below you have the uterus. Okay, so you have a uterine horns, ovary. Uh, you have a cervix, le col, cervix inside, and you have vagina, uh, the opening of our reproductive system so outside. Okay, and you have for uh, the gland or mammary gland, the other gland. Okay, other other gland, and you have the teeth. Tits, the tits, ce sont les trayons. A photo of this, a real photo of this. And let's uh, repeat the different organs of reproductive system, the main uh, uh, parts. You have ovaries in A on the two sides, either ovaries and um, the two horns, uterine horns, okay, so vagina. You have in the uh, vulva and the urinary gland. Example of a cow because uh, it is true that the uterus shape is different, differs from uh, one species to another. And it is the end, the end of our uh, lesson of uh, animal anatomy. Uh, okay, thank you so much for your attention and prepare cola.